Alright, hey guys, we saw Big Burrito here today with another video for you guys. Uh, today's video is going to be showing you guys how to put hacking codes onto a notepad, pull that notepad up on Ocarina Cheat Code Manager, load it onto an SD card, and you are ready to hack. Alrighty, so let's get this party started. Alright, so first what you need to do is find a good website to get your codes and post them onto a notepad. Well, I'm going to show you a good website. It is www.geckocodes.org. is a perfect website to get easy cheat codes or hack codes or whatever so you guys will be able to play your games. Alright, so first what you want to do is once you get to your website, first, actually, what you, first, yeah, you get to your website. Second, pull up a notepad, and it's an untitled notepad. Just pull it up. It should have like a symbol like that, sort of, like a notepad thingy. And I titled it RCDE52 Call of Duty 3. I do not have the game Call of Duty 3, but, you know, once again, this is an example. So, what you want to do is you want to copy everything. So, highlight everything until you get to the top. No way too far here. There we go. So, once you do that, you want to copy this. And then you go back to your notepad. And then you want to pull it up right here. Alright. You can just, yeah, put that under your title and paste it. Alright, so after you pasted all your codes onto, onto your notepad, you should be ready to um, save it as a open text file. Alright, so you want to go to save as. Alright, and then what you're going to want to do is, here's the thing that you can do. You can choose this or whatever you want to do. You can either go to your computer and you can either have a USB drive that you save all your stuff to, or you can just save it to your desktop. Then you can delete it off your test desktop after you p save it. Well, if you delete it off your desktop, it's going to erase the code, so a desktop really isn't that good of a place to save it to. So, I'm just going to save it on my USB drive. But wherever you guys want to save it is fine. So this is my hacks folder, and what you want to do is save as a uh, text document, as it's already set to it. File name, just uh, what the name is. Let's just save it as Call of Duty 3. Call of Duty 3. There you go. So after you save it as Call of Duty 3, you want to save. Alright. So that means when I go to my USB drive, to my hacks folder, I should have a file saying Call of Duty 3, right there. And it is saved as a text file, so when I would pull it up, it would look a little something like this. Alright, so after you save that as a text file, on to wherever you're saving it, from your notepad, from the website, you are halfway there. Another thing, you want to find... A thing called Ocarina Chico Manager. I will put the link to download this in the description so you guys will be able to download the exact same thing that I have so you guys, you know, will be able to hack and stuff because you need this Chico Manager in order for the games to be hacked. Alright, so then what you want to do is you want to go to File, you want to open the text file, and you find wherever you saved it, find your uh, notepad that you saved it as, Call of Duty 3, and open it. Whoops, I accidentally pressed closed. You're going to open your text file, so let's do this. Alright, so after you opened up your Call of Duty 3 stuff, and you have all the hacks on here, like that, it should look something like this after you're done, so let's just uh, pick some hacks. Uh, let's just do infinite ammo. Alright, that one's just going to work. I'm just going to do one hack. Alright, then what you want to do is you want to find the game ID. So if you go up farther enough here on the website, you can see how the game ID is that. RCDE52. Alright, so pull up your uh, cheat code manager again and type that in the game ID. So, RCDE52. Alright, and after you save it as the game ID there, what you want to do is you want to store the name and ID. You want to store the modifications. And then you want to export it to your GTC. Find your secure digital storage device or your SD card, store it there, press OK, and then after you store it there, it should be on your in your codes folder on your SD card, saved as rcde52.gtc. After you do that, you can just exit out, take out your SD card, like 
this, and then you are ready to go hack a game. Check out my other video to show how you do it on uh, the Homebrew channel. So, uh, if you guys are wanting information on how to load it from Gecko S1.9.3.1 on the Homebrew channel, check out the video on that. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.